Now, it's a new £200 million British polar research ship and the public have been tasked with naming it, perhaps Sir David Attenborough or the Polar Dream. But, as Johnny Diamond reports, that's not the current favourite. Endurance. Endeavour. Boaty McBoatface. Her Majesty's New Zealand ship Endeavour docks at Wellington. Once Britain ruled the waves. Now sailors might just rue the day that the public was asked for its opinion on what to call a new research ship. The National Environment Research Council had the interesting idea of asking for suggestions. There were some grown-up thoughts, famous explorers and the like. There was also Pingu, Boat and Usain Bolt. But one suggestion has stormed ahead. Boaty McBoatface. The man whose idea it was explained why he came up with that name. When you submit them, you have to submit uh, a reason. And I actually put, it's a brilliant name, which I stand by. <laughs> I, I don't know, really. I just feel it's a very British thing, which a lot of people have pointed out. Because I think I tweeted the organisers and said, I'm terribly sorry for all of this. And uh, a lot of people have replied to me and said, that's the most British thing ever. So, what are the odds of the name sticking? Luckily... The National Environment Research Council have said that they will make the final choice. But I think if we find we've got uh, half a million or three quarters of a million people voting for Boaty McVoteface and 2,000 voting for David Attenborough, when they make their choice, it's going to be a little bit difficult for them. For the moment, at least be prepared to welcome the latest royal research ship, Boaty McBoatface. Johnny Diamond, BBC News. <laughs> Let's have a look at the latest weather now with Matt Taylor. Hello, it certainly catches, isn't it? It's I always remember you. it. Anyway, <laughs> you